Today we're going to be doing an analysis with coffee creamer on the MAJSXB, which is a basic version of the Jet Sieve. The screen I'm going to use today is a 200 mesh screen, and I will be using a 120 mesh screen. To begin the analysis, I will place the 200 mesh screen, which is my finer screen, on the balance. I will record that weight, and then I will add my sample. Typically, I use a 20 gram sample. And then I will record that weight. Once I have that weight recorded, I will place the screen on the micro air jet sieve, place the cover on the sieve screen, and press start. With the basic version of the jet sieve, there are two parameters the sieving time and the vacuum pressure. Vacuum pressure can be between 8 and 16 inches of water. I've got it set at 12. Should material adhere to the cover, use the tapping hammer that's provided with the unit to slightly tap on the top to release those particles. Once the sieving is complete, remove the cover from the sieve screen, brush the fines that have accumulated on the cover back down onto the sieve screen, and I'm going to reweigh the screen. And I will record that weight. Now I'm going to weigh my second screen, which is the 120 mesh screen. Place that on the, the scale. Now I'm going to put that screen on the jet sieve and transfer the material from the first screen to the second screen. And repeat the process. And press start. Once the sieving is completed, remove the cover, brush the fines back onto the sieve screen, and we're going to reweigh the screen. Uh, as you can see, 98.6% of the sample passed through the 75 micron or 200 mesh screen. And the amount retained was 4.11 grams. The material was then transferred to the 125 uh, micron screen, and as you can see, of the material was retained, 3.22 grams of the material was retained. With this spreadsheet, you can also print out a simple graph that will show your analysis.